The focus in recent months has been on the likes of Sebastian Vettel and Sergio Perez as far as the driver market is concerned in F1. However, Red Bull still has three open seats with only Max Verstappen confirmed so far for next year. The team's advisor, Helmut Marko, has now given a rundown on the driver situation at Red Bull and Alpha Tauri for 2021 while speaking to Sky Germany. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Marco reveals specifics about their future driver lineup. Red Bull driver Alex Albon's race recently at the Nürburgring didn't impress many as he collided with sister team Alpha Tauri's Daniel Kvyat before retiring with an issue in the car. Marco began by looking at this and explained if it affects Albon's chances of retaining his seat at Red Bull. It was of course unnecessary, both from Kvyat and Albon this manoeuvre, but let's leave that aside. I said the same thing. If Albon manages to keep getting better and constantly keep improving, then he is a candidate for our car in 2021. Meanwhile, F2 driver Yuki Tsunoda has been touted as a replacement driver for Daniel Kvyat next year. Marco spoke about this next. Of course, we have our own junior driver program, but we currently only have one candidate for a Formula 1 seat. That is Yuki Tsunoda, the Japanese driver. The plan is to place him at Alpha Tauri. He only has to achieve the necessary points for the super license. He then turned his attention back to Albon and explained why they aren't looking to drop him this year. What Albon is missing is consistency. At the moment, we have no problem in the Constructors World Championship because we are confident there with Max and especially because of the fights behind us between Renault, McLaren and Racing Point. They take turns and take away points from each other, so our second place is not in danger. He, however, added this cannot be the case next year as well. In this sense, we don't necessarily have to take action this year, but we know that if we want to compete for the World Championship next year, we need consistency. And also, of course, that Max is not exactly challenged. He further elaborated on Albon's inconsistency to sum up his words. If you don't know when and how he will perform, then that's a factor of uncertainty that we cannot afford to have if we want to fight for the World Championship. Fast feed. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner feels that it makes your life a lot easier when there are clear boundaries. He elaborated by stating how with Alex Albon, for example, he is still young, but he knows he gets the same opportunities and the same material as Verstappen. However, Albon also knows that Red Bull's best chance to win a world title is with Verstappen. He further pointed out that it gets tricky when you have two drivers fighting neck and neck and both believe they are the best. Former F1 driver Nick Heidfeld feels that the current racing point is very similar to Mercedes with a lot of grip at the rear. That will probably suit future driver Sebastian Vettel much better. He also thinks that it's important for next year that Vettel gets into the car, that he feels at home, and that he makes far fewer mistakes from the start. Red Bull's Max Verstappen accepts that the halo certainly looks good and is very safe, but he had to get used to it because he was used to an open cockpit. He also feels that the trophies were much nicer 10 to 15 years ago. When he looks at the trophy cabinet in Milton Keynes, today's cups are sometimes a bit boring. He, however, doesn't really care because it's more about the memory of a victory and, of course, just the fact that you achieved that result. Verstappen also revealed that he watched the Indy 500 and it was interesting to see how they are doing with strategy and racing. It's probably pretty tough for them because they go seriously fast. He, however, doesn't really like ovals. He does like the road circuits, but if he has to drive an oval, he prefers to do it in the simulator. Now that it's been around for a while, have your thoughts on the Halo changed? If so, how? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.